All right, so let's do when we're on the SpongeBob. If you can't use Google, you're going to be screwed. All right, don't try and Google. The only way to learn how to do these is just to do them. All right, so what you're going to do when you get on the SpongeBob one, this I just need you to practice. This is all this is just practice yourself. So up here, you're going to look for genotype. You have to read the directions. If you're not reading the directions, you're going to get really screwed really fast. All right, so the genotype is given and indicate whether it's heterozygous or homozygous. So instead of you having to write out the word hetero or homo, you can just write hero. hero. <laughs> um, I know, but at least it's easier, you know. So remember, hetero means they're different, right? So they'll be either, it'll be a mix of capital and lowercase. Homo means same, so there's no mix. They are the same, so it's either little, little or big, big. So you're just going to write he-ho, he-ho, wherever it is. All right, then for this part, which of the genotypes in number one would be considered purebred? And then it's asking you which ones would be hybrids. So you're going to be listing these genotypes out on which ones are purebred and which ones are hybrid. Remember, purebred are pure breeding. So all their babies would be uh, the same as them. So purebred versus hybrids. On here, when you get here, it says determine the phenotype for each given genotype, okay? So here's where you need to start paying attention to the words. If you are given a genotype, then you have to tell me the phenotype. Remember, phenotype is in words, what you see. So is he going to be yellow or blue? So if he's capital, capital, he is showing you that yellow is dominant. So that means it would be represented by a capital letter. So that one would be yellow. And you have to go, keep going through. The same thing for here for square or round. Now you're going to use these genotypes that they tell you and here and here when you get down into the questions. It tells you the letters to use. All right, so when you're on this one, they tell you the phenotype, but you have to give the genotypes possible. There can be more than one. So the genotypes are the letters. So you have to figure out a tall head, which is a capital T, is dominant to a short little t. You have to remember that you have to give the genotypes. There's two letters in every genotype. So tall, there's two ways to be tall, and there's only one way to be short. Remember that. Same thing for pink or yellow bodies. So when you get to these questions, you're going to use this up here to help you answer. What I would tell you is pay very close attention to what it says the parents are. Because if you are one letter off, you're screwed. It will be, it'll make all of this wrong if you are one letter off. So the first thing you look for is what are the parents? Mom goes over here, dad goes over here. So SpongeBob SquarePants met Sponge Susie Round Pants at a dance. SpongeBob is heterozygous for square. So if I'm looking up here at square, these are my three possible genotypes. Which one would be hetero? This one, that one, or that one? That would be homo. This one, S, oh, yeah. capital, yeah. and lowercase is a mixture. That's why it's different. <coughs> so when you put him on here for SpongeBob, he would be capital S, little s. Make sure that I can tell the difference in your letters. So you can't just go, you got to make an obvious difference. Some of these it's really hard to do that on, but make it obvious. You know what I mean? That way there's no chance in me mistaking what it is. If I cannot tell, it is wrong. <coughs> so if Sponge Susie is round, oops, what must she be? There's only one way to be round, little and little. So when I put it back, so what she's going to be is she's going to have to be obviously little, obviously little, right? And then run out your Punnett square. And over here, this would be how many out of four, because there's one, two, three, four possibilities. All right. So this would always be out of four.